Mystery House. Mystery House, that strange publishing firm owned by Dan and Barbara Glenn, where each new novel is acted out by the Mystery House staff before it is accepted for publication. Mystery House. <laughs> Well, Barbie, a murder story about airplanes tonight, hmm? Is it tough to solve? It looks like you know the identity of the murder almost right from the start, Stan. But you wonder if the police will ever find out. Oh, frame-up, huh? Well, I like that kind of a story once in a while. Oh, this is the honey of a frame-up. One that doesn't seem to have any loose ends. But right triumphs in the end, hmm? Why, Mr. Glenn, I'm surprised at you. Yeah? Why, Tom? We're talking about right at the end of the story. Everything's right in these stories right from the start. Just listen. Okay, Tom. Places, everybody. Set the scene for tonight's story, will you? Operation Murder. The scene is the office in an isolated building where Ann Logan, former woman speed pilot turned aviation engineer, is working on a government-sponsored secret experiment. Doug Ward has just come in. Doug, what's the idea of dropping in on me here? You know, I... Yeah, sure, I know, Ann. But I was just driving by when I saw a very shady customer coming out of your place. What do you mean? A guy named Lopez. As soon as he saw me, he ducked. Lopez? Uh, I never heard of him. Maybe some friend of Austin's. Well, this guy's nobody's friend, Ann. I had plenty of trouble with him way back when I was flying in Spain. Well, I'm not going to worry about him. That's Austin's department. Well, you're kind of leaving everything to Austin these days, aren't you? Austin is important to me. Sure, I know. You got yourself engaged to him because of his bankroll. Ann, how could you sell out like that? I didn't sell out. Austin Ames is... Well, he's done more than anybody to make this operation successful. Okay, so he put up the dough. It's more than that, Doug. He's seriously interested in the future of aviation. He's not just a... That's right. He's no stick pusher. You know I never called you a stick pusher, Doug. It's just... Well, I always hoped you'd grow up and get serious about flying. Doug, you could amount to something. <laughs> That's a laugh. Do you know anybody who's done more flying than me? Sure, you're just about as hot as any flyer in the country on stunt stuff. But you're not young. You ought to settle down. Why don't you take the job I offered you? Ah, no thanks, Angel. I don't need charity. There's still dough and test stuff. Oh, but any day now your nerves will get you and you'll be grounded for good. What'll you do then? I'll get by, Ann. Oh, sure, any bum can get by. But you know too much about flying to let it go to waste. Look what an amateur like Austin can do. Why, you... The main can... difference between your pal Austin and me is that, that bank account of his... Now, maybe if I'd have had that, you'd be engaged to me instead of him. Oh, please, Doug, don't start that again. You know, we had that out long before Austin and I were engaged. Okay, Angel, okay. I just don't want you to forget that I'll always be available. Oh, Doug, Doug, if you'd only grow up, get a serious interest, you could change if you wanted to. Look, Ann, don't try to keep making me over. I could sweet-talk you, baby, but you know cloud hoppers like me don't change. I'll be a stick pusher until they ground me. But you don't want me that way. That's right. I want a man with a purpose in life. Oh, hello, Austin. Hi, Ann. We're all set. Oh, hello, Austin. You don't mind if I visit your future bride, do you? Oh, uh, I didn't see you, Warren. I don't like to seem rude, but you don't belong here, you know. Now, Austin, don't be that way. Doug's an old friend. That's oh, all right, Ann. I'll take off. <laughs> no, Doug. Austin didn't mean it that way, did you, Austin? Ann, this office is full of secret plans. Plans we swore to protect until this plane is ready. Austin, aren't you forgetting? Oh, it's all right, Ann. Wait a minute. Maybe I am a little touchy. Working under pressure, I... Well, you don't have to worry about me, old-timer. I haven't seen sign of your secret plan. Oh, you two. Why don't you be friends? I was just going to suggest that... Uh, Doug, we could... Well, we could make a good spot for you. Now, that's more like it. I was just telling Doug... Oh, no. I'm not on the skid yet. You don't get it, Doug. This is a big operation. Made to order for you. Sorry. 
How would you like to make the first test of our new plane? Wait a minute. I'm going to make that flight. After all... Now, take it easy, Anne. I know you counted on this. Counted on it? I'm going. Anne, we need publicity. The kind we can get with Doug as a pilot. He's the best-known flyer in the country. That'll get us twice as much space in the papers. Look, that plane is my baby. I've given her everything. I I'll... know, I know, darling, but your safety means too much to me. I couldn't think of you cracking up. Well, what are you so excited about? Anne's as good as they come. Well, if Doug would, I might be willing. I knew you'd see it, Anne. You've always wanted Doug as a partner. No, not so fast. I might do this test, but... Uh... If you would, Doug. Well, well, it's only because I don't like to see you taking chances, Angel. That's the spirit. We'll work out details later. Oh, it's going to be good to have you around, Doug. Sure it is. We can take a look at the ship now while you're cleaning up, I am. Well, why don't the three of us go out tonight and sort of celebrate? Hey, what is this? I just said sure, that I... Oh, sure, Doug, but Anne's just happy to have you with us. Oh, I'm so glad you said yes. Okay, Angel. You wear that favorite dress of mine, and I'll go. That's a date. Take care of him, Austin. I'll hurry. Not a girl. <laughs> See you soon. Well, Austin, you sure you go for this deal? Of course. Well, I just thought that... Forget it. I trust Anne. And besides, we couldn't let her take any chances on this test flight, could we? Well, there's always that million to one. Sure, and besides, there are certain details I don't think Anne could handle. What do you mean? Anne ought to know all about her own plane. After all, she designed it. Of course. That's exactly why. I don't get it. It's because she did design the ship that I can't let her make the test. What's that? Anne would make a success of the test or die in the attempt. Oh, you mean if somebody's got to die, you'd rather it be me? Not that. I just can't afford to let this be a success. What? Oh, I've got reasons. You see, I don't have as much money as Anne thinks I have. So when I got this offer... What offer? Never mind that. I need money to keep Ann in business. Well, but if this test flight's good, you'll have all the money you'll ever need. If it's successful. But what if it isn't? Well, any designer takes that gamble. Failure means you may go broke. Well, I'm not taking that chance. We're going to fail and get well paid for it. Very well paid. Oh, come on. Talk sense. Ann doesn't go for failure. That's where you come in. You're going to deliberately crack up. Now, wait a minute. I'm... You're going to pile up that plane so it'll look like something's wrong with the design. Oh, so that's the angle, huh? Well, you cheap little rat, you've sold out to a rival company. Oh, no, I'm taking off. Not so fast, Birdman. I'm afraid you'll find it a little difficult to get out of here. Yeah? <laughs> I had a hunch you might not like this job. That's why I made uh, other arrangements. Well, hey, who's this jerk? Come on in, Sammy. Our hero is going to require some persuasion. He doesn't seem to realize he's involved in a very melodramatic situation. Okay, boss, just <laughs> let me... Uh... <laughs> is this overstuffed character part of the melodrama? This dog is Samson. He used to be a circus strongman, but uh, <laughs> he found my kind of work pays better. Okay, boss. Now... Get away from me, muscle bound. Just keep an eye on him, Sammy. I want my friend, Doug, to understand the plot. Hey, Austin, you haven't seen enough movies. Don't you know the hero always comes out on top? Does he? Yeah, he does. For instance, I haven't forgotten my... Hey, oh, my arm! She busted my arm! No, no, it's not busted. Take your hands yeah. off him, Doug. I've got you covered. What? Oh, guns make you nervous, don't they? Shut up. I don't want to shoot you. Yet. Sammy. Yeah. Here's one for you. Catch! Nice throw, boss. Now, Birdman... Got you covered from both sides. Yeah, fast work, Austin. Maybe the movies could use you. Just shut up and start moving. And remember, there are two guns in your back. You think this is melodrama, Birdman? Take a look at that plane. Wow. Hey, I gotta hand it to Ann. She sure did a job of design on this baby. So you're impressed, eh? Well, just watch Sammy. He's gonna do a few tricks with that window over there. Uh, hey, what's the idea? That's a sure way to get the cops Absolutely. here. Absolutely. That's part of the plot. Okay, genius, you got me, but... By the time they get here, you'll be all ready for them. Oh, me? You. Remember? In this plot, the hero is the fall guy. Now, uh, 
Just climb up there in the cabin. We need a few fingerprints. Oh, so that's why you always wear gloves. Get up there. There isn't much time. All right. Okay. Come on down now. Hey, look, what, what kind of a brainstorm are you having? Come here now. Look. Take a look at this engine. Well, yeah. That's right. Put your hands in there. Now, Sammy. Yeah, boss? You keep him covered while I get these emery filings ready. Emery filings? And that... Well, you'll cut the heart out of that motor. Let me kill him now, boss. Why, that's one of the oldest tricks there is. Anybody knows that Emery... Sure finds... they do. And the cops are going to think you were the stupid guy who used Emery to conk out the ship of Ann. Why, you oh, little let ratchel. let kill him, boss. Let's get it over no, here. No, Sammy, you hear me? Boy, you big ape, you. Help us. I think... I think... Hey. Hey, Austin. Austin, what's the matter with you? Great Scott, man, he's dead. Dead? You, you killed him. You shot him with my gun. No, no, I didn't. Your gun must have gone off when we were fighting. It was an accident. It must have been. Uh, what? Uh, what's that? I don't... Oh, you. It wasn't you. Somebody over there. I thought it was an accident, Doc. Ann, Ann, where are you? What? Well, it was an accident, wasn't it? You saw. Was it? Move back a little, Doc. I want to see if Sammy's really dead. Yes. Funny, isn't it? One bullet took care of poor old Austin, but it took two to finish Sammy. Tough, wasn't he? Ann, you're crazy. You must have gone out of your head. Here, give me that gun. No, stay where you are, Doug. Don't try anything smart. I'm going to call the police. But you just killed Austin and Sammy. And you're going to call the police? That's right, darling. I'm going to call the police. So you better scram. They might find you, Doug. Oh, and for the love of Mike, find me. You Why? see, Doug, I know this place like a book. I can get out of here without anybody seeing me. I don't think you can. Oh, they'll find you all right. And wait a minute. Where are you going? You shot these men in cold blood. You can't walk... Can I, Doug? So long and happy landings. Dick pusher. <laughs> Anne Logan. Will she get away with the cold-blooded killing of Austin Ames and his bodyguard, Samson? Will Doug Ward be able to convince the police that he did not kill Anne's partner? Well, the second act will answer those questions. But in the meantime... And now, act two of Operation Murder. Police Detective Jurgens has arrived on the murder scene and has begun to question the flyer Doug Ward. What do you take me for, Ward? You'd better start talking if you want to have any chance at all. I told you I didn't do it. Sure, sure you didn't do it. But you were sitting here when I come in, weren't you? You admit you were fighting with these guys. Well, I didn't kill them. I told you that. All I know is the shots came out of the dark behind, behind those empty crates. Well, who was it then? Who was behind them boxes? I... Uh... Well, I can't tell you. You can tell me, and you will tell me, or you'll hang. Who are you protecting? Come on, Ward. I know you're a great stunt flyer, but that don't give you no license to commit murder. I didn't murder anybody. Well, maybe you'll start talking when we find the fingerprints on the gun you left lying here. Look, I didn't have a gun. I don't even carry one. Okay, so you took it off of one of these guys. Everybody knows you were sweet on that gal, Ann Logan. You were jealous, weren't you? Oh, but not like you're trying to make it look. You were mad because Ames was in on this new plane that that Logan girl designed. You figured you could make it look like Ames was no good. Oh, no, you're crazy. You came here to jimmy up that plane, and you figured to make it look like Austin Ames had done it. I tell you, you're wrong, Jordan. Had it all figured out, didn't you? Only Austin comes along and catches you at it, and so you get mad and kill him. No. You killed Austin Ames, and then you shot Sammy because he was a witness. No, you've got it all mixed up. And What about Ann? She telephoned the station, and she'll be here in a minute. All right. Ann Logan was a friend. I was going to make the test flight for her. She asked you to? No. No, Austin did. Double-crossing Ann. He wanted to make the test uh, flop. 
And he tried to hire me to, to pull a phony crack up. Well, then why did you kill him? Wouldn't he pay you enough? I told you I didn't kill him. Now, I... Oh, no. No, Inspector, you... You don't think Doug Ward killed... Oh, he couldn't have. And... Surely it couldn't be Doug, Inspector. Why, Doug had agreed to pilot the ship in tomorrow's test flight because Austin didn't want me to take the chance. He did, huh? Yes. Of course, Doug and Austin weren't very good friends, but I guess Doug felt it would be better if I didn't take the chance. You know, you, you can't always tell about new planes. Is that why your friend Doug came here tonight? Because you and Austin invited him? Uh, no. I guess Doug was curious about the plane. He just dropped in and asked if he could take a look. And you took him out to see it? Why, no. Doug is a friend. I knew, of course, it would be all right for him to go alone. Alone? You... You're sure he was alone? That's right. Austin and Sammy went out a few minutes later. And then I heard shots. And... I, I didn't know what to make of it. I, I was frightened, and I ran out to find help. Oh, so that's the way you want it, huh? Well, I'm sorry, Jurgen. Uh, hey! Hey, 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 stop him. He's getting away. What do you mean, breaking this into This makes my... the second time today you've tried to ignore me, Lopez. I do not know you. Get out. Oh, you know me all right, Lopez. That's why you're so nervous. You've been worried about me. Get out, or I shall call no, the... No, no. Not until we've had a little talk. And don't reach for that desk drawer. Have you forgotten, Lopez, that I'm an expert on judo? Why, oh, yeah. What's the matter? Make you squirm? All right, you are Doug Ward, and I am Ramon Lopez, but this is not Spain. I told you not to reach for that gun. Listen, Ward. You ought to learn to act better, Lopez, now that you're an airline executive. This is a legitimate business. Sure. What do you want? How much did you pay for the plans to Ann Logan's plane? What? You think... You I... heard me. Uh, How much? Let me go... Let go of my arms. Look, I saw you coming out of Ann Logan's office. I know your tricks. Now, how uh, much? Uh, no, no, I can't tell. Look, Lopez, you've been selling your services to one country after another. Your reputation isn't worth a nickel. I am. Now, just tell me how much. How much did you pay for the plans? Uh, all right. 300000 Three hundred. Ann. You see, Miss Logan? Here he is. Oh, Doug, Doug, I, I was so sure we wouldn't find you here. What? May I ask what is the meaning of this? It just means no, that... No, no, Inspector. I I'm sure you're wrong. Why, there must be some explanation for Doug's being here. Well, Ann, you know darn well why I'm here. Oh, Doug, you misunderstand me. Why, I just told the Inspector what you said about seeing Mr. Lopez. What? Well, I only thought... You see, if Doug was right in saying he'd seen you near my office, why... That must mean you've come to see Austin. What's the game, Anne? I'm so sorry about this, Doug. If I'd had any idea we'd find you here, but I only thought Lopez must know something because of all the things you've told me about him. What is this? Well, Doug always said if I ever wanted to sell out to a foreign country that you were the man to see. Looks like your goose is cooked, Ward. What? You mean you're falling for her story? Nah, none of that, Ward. You you won't need me anymore, will you, Inspector? I'm, I'm so on edge. Do you mind if I go on home? Sure enough, Miss Logan. And... Thanks for having that hunch about Lopez. Doug, I'm really awfully sorry. Oh. Look, Jurgens, are you going to let Pipe her... Pipe down, Ward, and start talking now. But she... Sure, sure, she was too smart for you, wasn't she? You shouldn't have blabbed about your friend Lopez. Listen, why do you think I came to this guy's office? Get him to tell you about the 300,000 bucks he paid out for the plans to Anne's plane. It is a lie, Inspector. I demand that you take this man away. Look, Jurgens, this guy's bad medicine wherever he goes. He's admitted that he paid out 300,000 berries to get the design for Ann's ship on condition that the test flight was called off. Now, he paid that money to Ann Logan herself. What? He is guessing, Inspector. He knows nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, then what were you doing in Ann's office? It is true. I went there, but not to see Miss Logan. I make my arrangements with her partner, this Austin Ames. What arrangement? Uh, the people I represent pay Austin Ames to make sure the test flight is a failure. But it is understood this, uh, this Doug Ward is to be the pilot. You mean that Ward was to fix the plane so it would crash? Uh, that is correct. 
However, Austin Ames anticipated some trouble in persuading Oh, Ward. so you killed Ames because he wouldn't pay you enough. Is that it, Ward? Look, Juergens, I told you I didn't kill anybody. The killer is your friend, Ann Logan. Ann Logan? That's right. I saw her do it. What? You told me you didn't know I know, I know. I couldn't figure out why she did it then. But when she began acting sorry for me, acting like she was defending me, I realized I was supposed to be the fall guy. Uh, What was her motive then, if your story's true? Money. Austin Ames was her husband-to-be. She wanted his money, not him. When she got engaged to him, she got him to make a will in her favor. Are you guessing or do you know? I'll bet on what I say being right. Look, if, if you just let me talk to her, ask her some questions, I can trap her. I know I can. Okay, then come on. Then I am free now? You're going to have to answer some questions about those plane plans and that money, Lopez, but we'll take care of that later. Just don't get any ideas about getting away. Come on, Ward. Logan, you startled me. Uh, what brings you back to my office? The policeman in that flyer ward, they just left for your apartment. I never went to my apartment, Lopez. I waited outside, waited till they left. I saw them leave. That was uh, clever, Miss Logan. But why? Because I wanted to talk to you alone, without anyone hearing us. What about? I'm new at this plane design business, Lopez. A lot depends on what happens to my first job. Ever let a story get out that I was mixed up in a sellout to a foreign country and I'd be licked? Done. Nobody'd give me another chance. I've got to know, Lopez. Were you dealing with Austin or weren't you? I am afraid I cannot discuss my business affairs with you, Miss Logan. Oh, yes, you can. You can do that or answer for two murders right now. Me? Two murders? (laughs) First, you tried to blame the flyer for them, and now you think you can change to me. I doubt that, Miss Logan. I doubt it very much. I saw you kill them, Lopez. So you dropped the gun and run. I picked it up and went ahead. You think you would make the police believe a story like that? Fantastic. (laughs) Particularly after what you have said about Doug Ward. Oh, no, it's true, and I can prove it. I had my gloves on, Lopez, and I guarded your fingerprints carefully. They're still on the gun. I imagine the police could trace it to you if I told them where to look. You uh, made a mistake coming here alone, Miss Logan. What? You... that gun. So you admit... I admit nothing, Miss Logan, except that I am about to commit a murder. You... listen, you couldn't kill me. Not here. I can do it and admit it freely. I say that you came back here to kill me. Just as you killed Ames and his stooge. That I shot in self-defense. And I can take care of the fingerprints on that gun. So there are fingerprints. You admit you killed them. It doesn't make much difference now, Miss Logan. To you or to me. But why? Why would you do such a thing? Ames made a deal with me. He took the money. And he insisted he'd get Doug Ward to crack up the plane so the test would be a failure. But Doug Ward turned down the deal. I knew he would talk. I couldn't afford to have my operations known. But why didn't you kill Doug? And let Austin Ames have that over my head? (laughs) No, my dear. That wouldn't have done at all. And now? No. No, you can't shoot me. Just stick him up, Lopez, or I'll shoot to kill. Ann, Ann, are you hurt? He just got me in the shoulder. But how come you came back? Uh, you You came here with me, remember, Miss Logan? You said you were going to your apartment when you left here. She lied. She stayed here. We heard why she stayed here, Lopez. But how did you know I'd be here? Well, you came with me, and there wasn't a cab any place around, not for blocks. Didn't seem like you could have gotten far enough away so we couldn't see you. So we came back to see what you were up to. Yeah, we heard Lopez's admission of the murders. You should have told me about him before. I had to be sure about Austin Ames being a crook. I had to know about Lopez playing deal with Ames. Sorry I had to mix you into a duck, but you... I wouldn't let them convict you. And there had to be somebody to keep the police interested until I could talk to Lopez and... Well, you were handy. Handy? Well, I won't be from now on, Ann. Since you've become a big business gal, you know you're out of my league. No, I'm going to stick to test flights from now on where a guy isn't risking his life all the time.
Thank you. 